Buen día, estoy caminando um, al centro y <laughs> tengo mis frutas y uh, el agua. Creo que es no mucho calor uh, hoy. <laughs> Y nos vemos más tarde. just now and I picked up a latte and um, they have some really cool dollar bills there from all over the world. I recognize the ones from Colombia and also the ones from the States and there's a couple other ones um, I haven't really seen before. But um, headed back, to, headed to a new park here and um, just gonna enjoy this morning coffee on this nice Sunday morning. And then the latte is pretty good so far from what I tasted. <laughs> and this is kind of where I ate yesterday. It's called Tulum. It has that nice view yesterday that I caught a, a little pitch, a little clip of. And I'm not sure what we eat today, but we'll see what happens. So let's get a move on. So I'm here in one of the squares. Um, just enjoying the morning coffee. And this is also the square where I go to get um, gorditas in the morning. It's all the way over there on your right if you look at this video. There's a bunch of people there right now and uh, it's a nice morning so I wanted to share this site with you all. So this coffee is actually pretty good too. I should have put a little bit more sugar into it. Um, but it was only 34 pesos, which is about a buck fifty. So much cheaper than Starbucks. There's a lot of vendors here this morning too, selling things. Um, over there, there's definitely gorditas and some uh, hot chocolate. And there's some, uh, maybe some fruit over there. Fruit or fruit desserts. And then over there, it looks like bread. And some guy just buying bread and feeding the pigeons. And <laughs> they're all flocking over there. to the east side of town and for some reason I just I'm reminded of Colombia just right here just having these little streams on the side and just water flowing when you're walking on the sidewalk that's what it reminds me of and I'm still making my way to the panoramic place so I'm heading toward this panoramic vista this view and I'm still not sure how to get there or what it is. I just saw it on the map, so I thought I'd check it out. I just think this road is called Panoramica or something. So there's gotta be something cool. It might be up there, but I'm not sure. I talked to a guy and I asked him if uh, this is the right way. He's like, yes, but uh, he said cuidado, which means I think take care. So I don't know if he means like it's long distance, it's high or whatever, but I'm just gonna walk it anyways. And I don't think it's particularly dangerous or uh, whatever. I have water with me and um, I asked him there's a lot of people there. He's like, no, there's not a lot of people there. It's just going to be you. So, I'm just kind of walking along this road. So it's, uh, <laughs> yeah, just me in the middle of nowhere. So I know I'm on the right track. It says Camino Panoramico de Guanajuato. So, this is the road I saw on the map. And, uh, Let's see how far I get. <laughs> Camino Panoramico de Guanajuato. Let's keep climbing. Uh, definitely getting higher, seeing more uh, more buildings, more of the city up here. I don't know if it's up there, maybe. Well, even if I make it halfway, it'll be a nice view of the city. 
be a nice chance just to sit down and chill out, you know? Sunday morning hikes, hashtag. <laughs> I finished my coffee. There it goes. All right, so it might just, might just be the road that's called Panoramic. Um, I actually don't see a path to get up to those mountains up there. Unless there's like a trail or something. But I can't pick up where the trailhead is, so I think I'm just going to head back down. Head to the other park of Florencia and Tino. Um, I see the Capilla uh, monument over there. So I'm pretty much on the same level, uh, if not higher than that. And uh, I'm going to make my way down to the city now, but it's a nice view up here. And uh, the, there's a lot of wind, so it's not too hot. But uh, I think I'm going, I'm heading westwards, which is not where I want to go. So I'm going to backtrack and just go towards uh, the park, which is towards the east side of town. But it's still a nice view up here. I got to see what people live like um, here in the hills. And fortunately, I don't feel it's as dangerous as uh, like the hills in Colombia. Because here, I think people, they're, they have money. I see cars, I see nice houses. So it's more uh, safe, I guess. Whereas in Colombia, a lot of the poor people live in the hills and there's a lot of like petty theft and things like that. But here it's different. Um, most of the houses and stuff that I see up here are, well, at least back there it was nice. But here, um, just you no know, normal houses. But yeah, I think I'm gonna make my way down now. Um, I'm still feeling good. Um, got that cup of coffee and I'm just hiking, a lot of uh, exercise, so. Yeah, not hungry yet, so we're just going to keep making our way to the park and hopefully I'll find something over there. And uh, we were just over there yesterday, uh, Papila. And that's where all the people are today, taking pictures, looking out at the city. This is the opposite side of the, the hill, so it's uh, still a nice view. Um, you're just not as close, but oh well. <laughs> So if you're near the baseball stadium, you can actually walk this way. There's a cool little waterfall here. And then I'm trying to get back to some street art that I saw earlier. Um, that's why I'm walking, backtracking this way. This was the cool street art I saw earlier. I think it's just in front of a school here. Escuela Segundaria Oficial. Presidente Benito Juarez. So I'm here in the baseball stadium. Um, there's no game right now, and I just walked in just to see how, how it is on the inside. Um, looks pretty cool. I like it. And a uh, good place just to hang out, I guess, if you want to watch a game or something. And I actually just met somebody on the street, this uh, guy named uh, Jonathan, that's how he pronounces it. And uh, yeah, he wants to practice more English and I want to practice more Spanish. So we just exchange contacts. People are very friendly here. Um, he didn't seem like he had a second agenda or something. So another day he invited me to maybe go to a cafe or something just to practice, meet new friends. He likes to have many friends in different states. So that was cool. Um, right now I'm just uh, walking towards the park. Florencia and Antillo, Antillo, I think, and then uh, maybe get some lunch here. I'm not too hungry still. The coffee's holding me over pretty well, and just want to share with you guys this uh, stadium, this baseball stadium that I found, and uh, on my way to make my way out now. So this is uh, Nutella flavor. I just bought a ice cream cone for 15 pesos, and there's a lot of other flavors, but. Right now, I just wanted to get something to cool down a bit because it's kind of hot outside now, especially with all that walking around. I just came across this place. It's called Casa de Tia Ora. It looks like it's a museum. Um, I don't know. It's a mysterious rooms or something like that. I don't know how much it is, but I'm going to walk inside and see. Maybe I'll come back another day. Casa de Tia Ora. Viva la expensa de visitar esta antigua casa y exata el reto de recorrer cada una de sus misteriosas habitaciones. Who knows? <laughs> There's some scary stuff here. I mean, it's a 
so it's 35 pesos a partir de los 5 años de edad. Gracias a partir de edad. Maybe I'll check it out later. Take a picture. So I'm at the entrance of Jardin Florencio and Dion, and it just looks like a nice, quiet park. Nothing too much going on, but I'm going to check it out anyways. It wasn't too bad to walk here, actually. It's a pretty chill park if you just want to come here and hang out and relax, maybe read a book, write stuff, write poems, write stories. Or if you just want quiet time with your girlfriend, boyfriend, whatnot. I'm not sure how it is at nighttime. I don't actually. I do see some light poles, so there should be light here at night. But it looks like just a nice relaxing space that you can just hang out here. And uh, maybe you can even jog here. Looks like it goes around for a little while. And the center there's that, uh, is it a gazebo? I think it's a gazebo. Just a really big one. So I'm at the other end of the park and it looks kind of empty. There's no water here. Maybe the, they have the fountain shut off or something. But there's a nice waterfall over there that we can check out afterwards. Maybe over there too. Let's take a walk around. Oh shoot. <laughs> I just tripped over a dead rat. <laughs> I'm not going to show it to you guys. It's kind of gross. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I thought it was like dog poop or something. But... Yeah, that's kind of cool. It's a nice little park here. With some water flowing. Nice place to have a conversation, eat some ice cream. Wow, what a really cool place. I'm glad I made a trip all the way to this side of town. There's just a lot of cool things over here, just to nice and hang, nice place to hang out and relax. Woo, that's a long drop. People just rowing some boats. It's a nice touch. I hope there's an exit on this side. <laughs> So this is the lake here, or mini lake I should say. It's 35 pesos for a person. There has to be at least two people. And uh, they give you a life vest as well. <laughs> on the other side of the little park here. And they have like a little... Presa? Presa de, de Serenavoto or something? It looks like it's a bridge that looks onto a lake maybe. It's right above here, but I was just admiring some of this artwork down here. So, let's take a look up there. It just looks like it's a little uh, man-made lake out here. Maybe there's some trails in the background. Maybe you walk over that way. It's beautiful here. Wow, it's super cool here. It's chill out in nature. Natives, native speakers, uh, one from Colombia and uh, another from another country, I think Spain. And uh, I'm about to go ahead and get dinner here and come back and hopefully practice some more Spanish with them. I've been listening to some uh, audio lesson, free audio lessons from Language Transfer, which is a really good website. It's free. It's like 90 different Spanish audios. And then I'm just showing you guys how many people are out here on Sundays. Cinelamina just to see what movies are available. 
maybe I can catch one later this week if I have some time. <laughs> Hey, what's up everybody? I'm here at the uh, one of the squares here. I just got two tortas and, uh, or, and a, a big horchata. I'm gonna eat here. And uh, yeah, just enjoying the nice view here. I think I have like a week and about two weeks left here. And I'm headed back, not this coming Saturday, but next Saturday. So um, this is a new torta place that you just saw in the clip there. And uh, it looks pretty good. Um, it was 70 pesos for two tortas, so it's like 35 each. And uh, the big horchata was 25 pesos. This is a really nice view. <laughs> this is where they start the uh, mariachi evening walks, where like they'll um, uh, play music for people, get them riled up, and then they'll all head out as one big crowd, and they'll walk through the city singing at night. I think it's mostly on weekends, like Fridays and Saturdays, but I think I might have saw it on a weekday. I'm not sure. <laughs> That's not how busy it is.